Welcome back into the show. Time for a little 814 fun. Happening this week in the 2022 PA Adventure RV show. We are so excited to have Miss Rachel DeAndre, and we've got John here with the Blair County uh, Conservation, Conservation which I, is so amazing because you brought along three little turtles. These little guys need <laughs> names, and it kind of ties into uh, this weekend because people are going to be able to come out, see them, and actually name them. That's right. And what a John, John is the ambassador. He's going to be showing his turtle ambassadors, <laughs> and, and I'll let you talk about more about that. But there's so much going on at the RV show, and John will be there. We'll have also uh, a falconer there on display. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Wow. We'll have face painting for the kids, and, of course, everyone wants to camp. So yeah. So many fun things to do there. Of course, you might see these kind of things when you're out camping. Absolutely. So it's a great time, and then, uh, of course, they're right here in Blair County. So, John, can you uh, tell us a little bit about these guys? Yes, yeah, so up, up first is actually a wood turtle. <laughs> he, uh, this is a male. Uh, he's going to want to scoot, so we're going to have to keep an eye on him. I'll watch oh, him. Um, wow. The pretty cool thing about wood turtles are um, <laughs> they actually have... He's uh, kind of fast. A, they're pretty fast, <laughs> and they're actually considered endangered now really? due to habitat loss. So it's actually really special for the, for the conservation district to be able to have an endangered species living in our office uh -huh. and soon at NatureWorks Park in Holidaysburg where we build them an enclosure outside. But you can see, yeah, he likes to motor. He's uh, semi-aquatic, <laughs> semi-land-based. Uh, he's going to need a name as well as a few others. So after the wood turtle, I'll set him back in his water, we have two eastern box turtles. Their range is a little bit larger, uh, typically the east coast. But I'm going to bring up the female here because there's something special about her is that she's about 100 years old. Oh, my. Uh, so Isn't that awesome? She looks good for her age. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's not she a wrinkle sure runner. Does. <laughs> she's not going to be quite as active, but she'll still she'll still like to motor even in her older age. Oh wow! And then her special male counterpart here, he's between the ages of uh, 35 and 50, and you can see he's got a nice characteristic of of red eyes. Oh, he he's is. He's got something special there to him yeah. too. Yeah. Now, how can you tell their age? Uh, so the age you can actually tell by counting rings on the underneath of them, and then you could also tell if it's uh, a male or a female by the concave part of the, wow. the underbelly there. So yeah. here's our little guy, and he likes to scoot. He's trying to go. He's handsome. And, and then, like I said, our, our female there who's, who's pretty old. But yeah. you know, we're looking forward Ooh. to using these as, as ambassadors for uh, <laughs> oh. you know, water pollution and conservation. And <laughs> there she goes. And, oh, you know, <laughs> they are quick, and their, oh, their shells are just so pretty. Yeah, and you could see like with the female again a, a bit more of a rounded shell, unlike unlike the lower profile of her male counterpart. Yeah, beautiful markings. I love this. And um, usually you think of turtles, they're, they're they they want to hide and uh, tuck their heads in. <laughs> well, they might inside. be they might be trying to hide. But yeah, they're seeing that coverage is just a little bit too far away. But well, they yeah, they get to be about you know this female is fully grown. Uh, her male could, counterpart could grow just a little bit more as he ages just a bit. Again, they could live. You know, over 100 years old, wow. so he could grow a little bit more. Um, but yeah, typically between five and nine inches for the wood turtle, and about four and a half to seven inches uh, for the eastern box turtles. I love that. And so you guys are just going to be one vendor at the RV show, mm -hmm. and you have so many things on display. That's right. We have dealers. We have um, of all kinds. We have all kinds of units there. There's something there for everyone. Yes. Really, there is. Sounds like it. So how can people get tickets? What's the best way to do that? They can come get their tickets right at the, sh at the ticket booth. Come right to the Blair County Convention Center. We'll be come to the ticket booth, ask for me, Very and good. you'll be ready to go. I love that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday happening this weekend at the Blair County Convention Center. Um, I want to ask, so if people are out camping or kids are watching this and they see these creatures, what's the best way to handle this kind of thing and why is it so important to uh, protect these turtles? So in the wild, it's best to just leave them be. I mean, the, the part of the problem with it is not only is it hum like habitat loss because humans are encroaching, yeah. you know, building homes in the suburbs, things like that, uh, but it's also taking them illegally for, for pets, right? And mm -hmm. so we have these as pets because they were already somebody else's pet. And oh, unfortunately, yeah. we can't send them back into okay. the wild. So the best thing to do is if you do see them on the road and you can safely pull over, help them cross. But otherwise, you know, leave them, leave them be. Uh huh. His his markings are so cool. The orange there, I just love that. They sometimes, <laughs> yeah, they sometimes have a red nickname just because of the 
the typical orange wow. and red tones you can see there in his legs Very and his pretty. under his stomach like yeah. that. Yeah. He's pretty colorful. Thank you so much for bringing these little guys on. We can't wait to see what people come up uh, to name them. Of course, you can do that this weekend at the 2022 Pennsylvania RV Adventure Expo happening at the Blair County Convention Center.